but already there's a new survey that says Hillary Clinton is favored to win the Iowa caucuses in 2016. <laughs> I think they could have at least waited till we peeled the I voted stickers off of our jackets. But... So to summarize, a woman who has not yet expressed any interest in running is well ahead of some other people who aren't running. <laughs> Good study. I guess it's never too early. Lighthearted lightning round right now. Congressman Schock, who are you look, who are you gonna be watching most closely the next four years? And where are you on the Hillary versus Biden 2016? Well, uh, first I'd say anybody who travels to Iowa that doesn't represent Iowa. Uh, is self-identifying themselves as a potential candidate. I think Marco Rubio, who's headed there, is, is uh, leading the pack. Marco Rubio, Paul Ryan, certainly is a VP nominee. Uh, you guys got like Bobby Jindal. Uh, certainly if Chris Christie wins re-election, uh, he'd be in that pack. Uh, Biden versus Hillary, um, I'd have to have my money on Hillary. I don't think Biden did himself any favor in the VP debate. I don't know. I'm a Biden fan. I'm a Hillary fan. And I'm just going to wait, you know, at least for a little while. And I will wait to peel my uh, I voted sticker off. <laughs> OK, great. I think you should keep your eye on Governor Susanna Martinez out of New, New Mexico. Mexico. She's a Republican in a Democratic state. She um, handled their deficit problem. Um, she was against or she came out against uh, with something that Governor Romney said, the self-deportation. And so she was sort of on a, outs a little bit with some Republicans. But I would keep my eye on her over uh, Senator Rubio because she's a governor. Speaking as a journalist, I'm a Biden man. Uh, I, I, like, uh, I, like, uh, I like I like Joe provides great copy. Uh, on the Republican side, uh, I think that if George Jeb Bush runs, I think he has to st have to be the favorite. Last word, Katrina. Quickly. Uh, for those of us with election fatigue, could we just start doing some governing? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> a good plea to end on. Thank Please. you very much. Thank you all. Fantastic roundtable. Congressman Shock's going to be answering the questions you have on Twitter. Look for that on abcnews.com/slash this week later today. And now. On this Veterans Day, we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of four soldiers killed in Afghanistan.